desk for me, or whatever you orphans do for luck. <laughs> oh, look at all the flowers. Mark, the room looks beautiful. I know, man, not a single med fly in the bunch. <laughs> Titter, titter, blush, blush, blush. Hi. Oh. <laughs> this was so sweet of you to do this for me. But I think you're a little premature. I'm not even going to know about the newscaster job till this afternoon. But thanks. Oh, 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 down, boy, down, boy. Go ahead, tell her. No, I can't. I can't. Oh, tell her, tell her. No, I can't. Oh, come on, tell her. Oh, I'm cramping up emotionally. Tell her, tell her. You can do it. Just tell her, tell her. Mark, I'm going to have to wait for the dramatic conclusion. Oh, it's all right. I'm all right. Just tell her, tell her. It's okay. It's all right. Mindy, you hold my three hearts in your two hands. Basically, what I'd like to say is, will you marry me? 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 The shakes are split. Make a small mental note. It's always better to propose while she's in the room. Men, oh, you say the magic word. Rose, don't forget to put it in the oven. Bye. All that love for a hunk of meat. I blew my big moment. I was there. I blew it. This is not the American Embassy! <laughs> Mind if I play through? Exeter, is that you? That's what it says on my scorecard. <laughs> Try a five iron? Happy? That's why you're a caddy and I'm on the tour. <laughs> Always like playing this course. So well tended. Rosa, for Mindy, I, I tried to propose to her. What did she say? Put the roast in the oven. So that's where it goes. <laughs> Look, you can join me on my crusade. I'm going to take gout from the rich and give it to the poor. <laughs> we'll play in the streets with real hazards, like gang violence and moped. So, you've got to help me, please. I mean, you, you know everything. I mean, you even know the color of Ronald Reagan's real hair. Oh, please, please. How do, how do I propose to Mindy? Ditch the skirt, Mark. Thanks, I love Mindy. Is, is a marriage the, the, the ultimate commitment, the eternal bond, and besides a wicked tax break? Sham. It's, it's a blessing. It's barbaric. It's fulfilling. It's a candy man. It's a Beth man. Oh, stop. <laughs> You're both right. Actually, please, please. Pull out your putter and drive me out of the sand trap of life under the fairway of love. Mark, there's only two ways to propose. B, the old-fashioned way. You charge into our life on a fiery white stallion. Toss the tomato on the back of the saddle and ride off into the sunset. I guess the old-fashioned way is always best. Except when you're having a heart transplant, but... Well, then, you're stuck with C. I don't mean to pry, but what's C? Hmm? C? Oh, C. <laughs> well, Mark, I must say that it's a boring choice, but it worked for Prince Charles. And I look a lot less like Howdy Doody than he does. <laughs> This may shock and even nauseate you. It's all right. I subscribe to the National Enquirer. <laughs> Bunny, I may not be the handsomest man or the brightest or the wealthiest man in the world, but I've got his phone number. <laughs> I wish 
I was the garbage man. Because when they wake up in the morning, they expect the world to stink. Mitten, although we've only known each other now for 26,802 hours, I feel basic. Well, I didn't get the newscaster job, but am I bitter? No. Oh. Mr. Sternhagen said it had nothing to do with my being a woman. It's just that he needed a shortstop for the station's softball team. Mitten, the target for those for moving target. Mitten. Mitten. Oh, I gotta get my mind off this. Lionel, let's go do something fun. Wanna play tennis? Or oh, we'll do anything you want to do. Oh, I'd love to play Space Invaders, then we can go for some pizza and maybe get married. No, <laughs> no we had Italian food last night. Cute, but not the greatest attention span. <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. You die. <laughs> Min. You know, I've traveled all around the galaxy and I. Never thought I'd fall for an earthling. <laughs> and, you know, I don't think I know a, a nicer or kinder being than you. I love you very much. And, um, will you marry me? Min? <laughs> Hon, don't check out without the baggage. Min? 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 Little pooter? <laughs> Yeah. Hello, everybody. What's wrong with Mindy? I don't know, Grams. All I did was ask her to marry me, and boom, she's got the personality of Lint. Marry? Yes, sir. Uh, thank marry you. Marry my daughter? Oh, yes. Uh, thank you for your blessing. Blessing? <laughs> I'll give you a blessing. You wouldn't have married standing behind a woman wearing glasses, would you? Married. You know, I think that we three should have a talk right now. Come okay. On. I don't think we should neglect Mindy like this. <laughs> Honey, come on. Hi, Dad. <laughs> you know, Pops, wherever Mindy goes, I go, because basically we're a unit right now. Okay, but since we're almost family, I can make one exception. <laughs> Let me see if I can I, I can say this tactfully. Mor Mor Mork is an alien. He's an extraterrestrial being. A UFO with legs. <laughs> oh, pipe down, Fredzo. You don't mind having that alien sit on your television so you can bring in 20 extra channels. <laughs> a television antenna is one thing, a son-in-law is another. <laughs> Don't talk to me about a son-in-law. Come on, you two. All right, technically, we all know Mork isn't exactly human. But he has a lot more humanity in him than anyone I've ever met. He's sweet, he's, he's charming, he's sensitive. And I love him. Uh, uh, Mindy, you loved Oliver, too, but you got over him. Oliver was a goldfish. <laughs> I mean, he went belly up. Will you talk some sense into him, please? Oh, Mindy, dear, we all love Mort. Yes, and we don't mind if he still likes to chase cars or, uh, or, or sit on his face. But, you see, you mustn't let love spoil your judgment. Mindy, any mixed marriage is rough. Yes, but I'm afraid this one is impossible. Mindy, look at the facts. Mort can never support you. So I'll be the breadwinner. I want a career. And what happens to your career if he's transferred to another planet? I'll commute. Mindy, think. Mork is an orkin, and he's aging backwards. You'll be on Medicare, he'll be on Pablum. Dear, you will never be able to have a normal life. And, and what about having a family? The chances are you can't. Oh, Mindy, we don't like to see you cheated out of having something as precious as children. Honey, it's your decision. And we just want you to be realistic. And sometimes that's the hardest thing in the world. You know, I always thought my life would be like a Doris Day movie, not Barbarella. <laughs> How do I weigh what I feel against what I know is logical? Honey, I think you know exactly what has to be done. You folks talk a little louder. I can't hear a word you're saying. <laughs> this is 
going to be a lot harder than it was to flush Oliver down the toilet. <laughs>
They think I don't care about anybody else's problems because nobody cares about mine. Well, you know something? They're right. <laughs> Never did like old Jake. <laughs> I'm coming to sweep you off your feet. Oh, yeah, I mean, get ready for it. Here we go. Whoa! Big lunch, men. This is ridiculous. No, it's not. It's romantic. We're going to ride off into the sunset. The sunset four hours ago. Well, I guess we better haul it then. <laughs> That's all right, men. I'll catch the next one. Well, you really topped yourself that time, Mark. Yeah, I guess you've never ridden a pony through a car wash before, huh? <laughs> Boy, he scampered when he hit that hot wax. <laughs> but you haven't had a date like that with an earth man. You're right there. Mark, me? it's almost midnight. I think we should sit down and talk. Oh, me, 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 there's still enough time for the grand finale. Oh, Mark, you don't need a finale. Oh, oh I sure do, and you're loaded. <laughs> Can you put that tape in the tape recorder down there, please? This one, Mark, last ditch effort. That's it. <laughs> Mark, you've given me flowers and, and perfume and horses. What's left? Broadway! Hit it, men! <laughs> got my top hat, got my best press. All I need now is the girl. Got my striped tie, got my hopes. I've got the time and the place, and I've got rhythm. All I need now is the girl to go with. Hey, hey, who? <laughs> well, well, boy, they really screwed this game up when they added the ball, man. <laughs> This guy's in love with you. Seriously, where are you from? <laughs> yes, I'm in love. What do I do to make you mine? You know it. Tell me now, is it so? Don't let me be the last to know. Because I want to be happy. I want to be happy. I want to make you happy. Out of town? <laughs> oh, Mark. Before I met you, the, the biggest choice I had to make in my life was whether to have my hair permed or fix the cat. <laughs> this is the hardest decision I've ever had to make. Well, maybe the decision's been made for you, Min. I mean, think about it. I crossed five galaxies and came to this little tiny planet, and of all those people in the world, you found me and we fell in love. Coincidence? I say nay. <laughs> Maybe some infinite intelligence in this cosmos, as we peer out, realizes that we were meant to be married in all mankind. I wish I could believe that. I wish you could believe that too, men. I'll send by Exodor to pick up my clothes. Why? You don't have to go. I don't want you to go. Well, you could go, but Felice is in your name. <laughs> well, just because we can't be married doesn't mean we have to end our relationship. I mean, why can't we just go on being the way we are? I love you. I couldn't stay here knowing that you'll never be mine. But it doesn't have to be like that. Well, if it were the other way around, could you stay? No. Because... You know how easily you run down, so don't skip breakfast. And, and, and don't forget to take your fem iron.
You don't want me to go, do you? I want to read minds, too. No. I can read your face. Oh, Lord, if I married you, I'd be giving up any chance I might have to have a normal life. But if I lost you, Will you marry me? What? <laughs> Will you marry me? This is so sudden, I'll need some time. <laughs> Mark, <laughs> do you always have to report when I'm eating? Well, so I can wait till you stop, but the Earth's sun does have a limited lifespan. <laughs> After that comment, you'd better have an interesting report. Well, sir, you're gonna decorate me for this one. You see, Mindy and I have signed up for a full lifetime term in the most noble of all institutions, marriage. What? Sir? <laughs> Do I detect a note of jealousy, or are you just coughing on a bone? Mark, no orphan has entered into a marriage since our dark ages. You've broken one of our most fundamental orphan laws. Correct the matter at once. All right, sir. I'll correct the problem. I quit. I abdicate my post for the woman I love. Mark, you can't abdicate. I've given you an order. Carry it out or else. Oh, yeah? I'm marrying Minnie, and you just try and stop me. That's a nice try there, sir. Don't you understand, though? On Earth, when a man and a woman love each other... Silence! Sir. The matter is closed. Until next week, Mork. Nanu. Yeah, all right. Uh -huh. <laughs> the old silent treatment, eh? I am staying right on this spot until you let me marry Mindy. I have patience. I can wait. I once sat through an entire Bobby Vinton concert. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 